All right, what is up, guys? This is Carbon. This one we're playing some speed specialist going up against. Oh my god! Okay, a triple steel ball opener. Hence the vertical formation here on the sledges. Let's try and slow them down a little bit. And these acolytes are really going to be what either win or loses the round. Can they clear off his chaff in time before a steel balls punch through and make it to the tanks? Obviously, he's got more nades on this side. So even though I have crawlers over here, that it's going to kind of wiggle through. This side going pretty good though. I think it's about going just well enough that we should have this. This many early balls is kind of scary. But hey, maybe we get to have some Wraith shenanigans in this game too. That'd be kind of sweet. Nice. Building drops. Acolytes get some sweet juicy experience. Good times. Very good times actually. Nano repair kit. Well, that's kind of terrifying. <laughs> that's actually horrifying to go up against. Uh, knowing that he has steel balls. Luckily, none of them got level 2 just yet. Um, guess the haste module is just fine. Hmm, we have no anti-air units. I'm just realizing that right now. That's not a, it's, not, it's not great. Okay, I guess we just do something a little bit like so. I think I'll get them set up on this side first. Should arrive in quite fast. Then just go for like the extra chaff on this side. Super lit arrivals, maybe. I'll just hold on to the haste module for the time being. Missile? Or oh, no missile? Missile here. Alright, man, let's try that. Any flanks? Nope. He goes for more balls. He goes for stangs. Oh my god, please let this missile hit here. Oh! Yes! Okay, that's huge. Alright, we get absolutely stomped on this side, but that's okay. So he's going for quite standard aggro, to be honest. And hell, maybe this is exactly what the Wraith is built for. Could just drop a Wraith in the next turn. Or should we wait until we can drop it with armor? You know, we're actually holding on okay over here, given that how quickly the building went down. Maybe we'll be just fine. Nice. Damn, we have options here, dude. We have options with the Acolytes, too. The Acolytes are kind of getting a lot of XP. I was going to start selling them off, but... Pick up a Tech Specialist there. Yeah, I kind of feel like we don't need to go Wraith yet. Maybe we just don't need to go Wraith at all. I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a limp new unit, to be honest. I feel like it's honestly so niche. Um, like, to its detriment, you know? Like, niche units are cool and all, but... Okay. Let's rank up these Akis a bit. Even levels on these guys are fine now that he has Stangs as well, so they'll live for a little bit longer. Yeah, I think I'll just complete the diversification of our army for now. Which means, I don't know, something something a bit like a bit like this, I guess. Just on both sides. I'm still just holding on to haste module. I'm not sure what use is for it. We may or may not find. Go for the missile on this side this time. Okay, yeah. This is just like full-on classic aggro, dude. Don't think that we win this. This missile is going to help a lot. And the extra chaff will help a lot. We will actually take the dub on this side. No. Oh, nice. He lives. Okay, awesome. All right, man. We actually may be just doing it, you know. Like, even without this building going down over here, I think we still actually just win on this side. Mostly because of the chaff and then the uh, levels on the crawlers. He's just kind of struggling to chew through them for the time being, but that won't last forever. Uh, range specialist. Hmm. Cindery bomb is just fine too. Ah. My well, fool, man, you have to go range specialist. It's too good otherwise. Okay. Let's give this little flying sorcerer a run out here, boys. Let's just give it a go. Get the haste module on it. Why not? 
do this upgrade here. If he incendiary bombs us to take a win this round, well, is what it is, I guess. Is what it is. So this guy has... Wow, why does this thing have 18 movement speed? Oh yeah, I'm sweet specialist too. Dude, it's literally a goddamn... I mean, it's fast as hell. <laughs> okay. I mean, it can start like a little bit further back, I guess. It's really quick. <laughs> He's really quite fast. Okay, he actually buries both sides this time. He's super serious about not getting missile this time, uh, this turn. Which you don't blame him for. Our missiles have been super effective against him. So this guy will get plinked down. I probably go for the armor enhancement on this next turn. So that he can't just rely on the stangs to kill it off. I mean, he can, but it'll take forever. Still getting a pretty good amount of work done, to be honest. Kills like, what, I don't know, five or six steel balls. Pretty decent. The regen on these balls is a bit of a problem. We get this thing dead. We get this thing dead. We have a good chance of killing all of these. Which would help minimize our losses a bit. Damn. That building goes down too quick. Dret. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just go into... I'm, I'm gonna go into armor. And mass uh, frisbees. Let's just see how they do, man. <laughs> Let's just see how they do. In the meanwhile, Subsidized Stang is just a good fallback option. So we do that. Pick up the armor. Frisbee's all over the goddamn place. And I guess we just sort of stagger him. I just want all of his guys running straight into us here. Mass Recruit, Backup Crawlers. Um, we have a few on the back lines. I think over here. Just okay. These guys are just running straight forwards, huh? What if we clip him with a missile? Okay, he's gonna missile us again. It's okay. I'm actually just not valuing the sledgehammers at all. There's a fair chance we end up selling them and uh, spamming level 2 acolytes as well. Starting next round. And just going a whole lot of acolytes and stangs. Let's see, dude. Let's see how these uh, stangs do now against these armored wraiths. Like, they will be able to kill them off. But it's going to take them a fair amount of time to sort of focusing them. These guys do okay against steel balls, apparently. They are plinking them down pretty, pretty decently, man. Let's get some cinematic action going. They're actually getting through to connect, man. Oh my god, this guy might actually live. He does. And that's levels on both. Frisbee Supremacy. I think that we pick up our uh, de uh, Degenerate Beam. Next turn. To just turn his army into a bunch of... A bunch of Degenerates, dude. Bunch of absolute... Nah, I gotta keep, gotta, gotta keep a PG over here, man. Gotta keep a PG over here on this channel, man. I'm doing well. My MMO channel is actually so just cooked by YouTube, it's unbelievable because I just care way too much and I just say whatever I'm thinking. Which usually tends to be not stuff that's okay for YouTube. <laughs> so that channel ends literally like a dollar per thousand views and ends like nothing, dude. Like I just... <laughs> it's been a stable source of income for so many years and I ruined it. <laughs> Completely ruined it, dude, and it's all my own fault. Okay, well, let's just get the upgrades on these guys. It also upgrades the armor too, so that's huge. We've got the degenerate aura going on these guys. Um, it's just a lot of stangs, man. Just a lot of stangs. I think I'll just counter by going into my own mustangs here. I'm also going to start to sell off the tanks, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's okay. Is it... Is that fine? One of the biggest counters to Wraith is Phoenixes. And so it's why I'm like... Considering just prioring the crap out of... Stangs for a little while. We want a plus range. Maybe plus speed too. It's just why the hell not. Just get some more like backup Stangs. Sort of in the middle like so. Nice and far back. Get them range and stuff eventually. For now, that'll have to do, I guess. 
Okay, huge degen auras on these guys, man. Okay, screw the automatic camera. Let's just, let's just go manual, shall we? Dude, listen to the sound effects of these UFOs. I don't know if you guys can hear, like, the humming. But it sounds so cool. I don't even know if these Stangs have the damage now to armor pierce these guys. I think they're just immune to Mustang. This guy is not so not so uh, fortunate on the right side. Oh god, I gotta tell you though, these UFO effects are killing my frame rate, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, these guys are like the ultimate anti-aggro tool, right? Your opponent spams like Steel Balls, Mustangs like to do in old patches. You just go into the Wraiths, get them degen beam and armor. And like your opponent has to change what they're doing or this happens. I mean, the degen beam also increases the damage that the Steel Balls are taking as well as slowing their movement speed. So they die so quickly once these nerds are on the field. Oh my god, he's alive with 19 health. Uh, and the armor makes it obviously almost impossible for the Stangs to take them down. Um, do I just like skip everything here? He could go anti-air and pose a bit of a threat to these guys. I think I'm gonna just skip, man. Just going to range in the Stangs now. They can kind of take it from here, you know? Um, as tempting as it is to go like full carry Wraith, I I'm not sure it's gonna help us out that bigly in this scenario. Dude, can I please sell this bloody unit? Didn't want to leave, man. Okay, uh, elite recruit. Drop a Stang. Drop another Wraith. This will be like the last one of the game, probably. Don't think there's any reason to dole out any more than that. I want these guys arriving and tanking for the bulk of my Stangs now. Do I go ahead and drop a shield here? Or do we just go for like plus dam? Or plus range even? Ah, uh, let's go for the plus attack. Okay, dude, look at this UFO action, man. I can almost hear the Wall of the Wells theme tune in the background. What do you mean there's no UFOs in Wall of the Wells? I know, but... Still, look at the slowed move speed on these nerds, dude. I mean... Ooh, they are chunking down this guy. What was that, man? Electromag Maxman! No, dude. That's actually a really good answer from this guy. This guy over here, though, is still absolutely stomping, and I think we just have Mustang Supremacy now. Yeah. Nice. Building goes down. We pull it off. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, dude. I totally underestimated how good Electromag would be against these guys. Completely annihilates their move speed. And deletes the uh, degen beam. And because they have such short range, it's pretty easy to get the maximum to connect on these guys, right? Oi, oi, oi. GG, man. GG. All right, man. Well, it turns out, extremely situational unit. My first impressions of this. Um, kind of just an anti-aggro tool. I'll see if I can get us some shenanigans with this <laughs> in a future video. Some aggro wraith, some carry wraith, some flanking wraith, something like that, you know. I don't know. We'll see what we can come up with. But for now, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all did enjoy this happy little video on Update Day. And should catch all of y'all as a tab bit later, man.